Is this the half blood? Oh. Shh. <laughs> Salutations viewers, my name is Game Dame and welcome to Vampirum. So this is a game I was asked to play uh, by the developer and I am very excited to play these games for developers. I do apologize uh, sometimes if I don't always get it in the time frame that you need it. I had a lot, I always have a lot going on. Uh, so I will get to it as best as I can. So of course, uh, I'm not going to be linking to it. Uh, I'm not going to be giving any keys away. I'm not going to be doing anything like that because this game is still in very much early development. So without further ado, let's see what Vampirum has to offer for us. I like the opening screen. Opening screen was nice. Okay. Ooh, we get to watch the intro. I want to watch the intro. I wish that's what, ha that's what started off with. I can't believe this is made by like one guy too. I like the eyes. The eyes are really cool. And this is in-game stuff. And this isn't just like the somatics in cinematics in general. Ooh, okay. I was just turning up something. That was that was a me thing. That wasn't a game thing. Um I was turning up something in my OBS. The lighting looks really good. It has been several weeks since the Council has revoked the Vampirum's royalty. Ooh. Yet I still do not have his dead black heart in my hand. Oh Raven my gosh. Blood, you idiot. The half-blood liability. The weak link in our bloodline. Oh, the bird man. His yes, voice. the bird man. With two of his sires destroyed, he's very weak. The Shadow Hunters can probably smell the hurt Vaughn licking his wounds amongst our sect. Chit? What? You said hurt Vaughn, but you meant hurt Chit, right? You know, because he's a bird of raven. Yes, whatever. Just deal with him quickly. No more delays. <laughs> deep, bit of a labyrinth, but my men and I are working on it. Who did it to love but close? <laughs> I like his voice. His voice is very menacing and dark. And that's probably what the developer was going for in this game. Intro is cute. Um, yeah, the intro is cute. Well, cute in a sense of like... It definitely sets the atmosphere for me. Is this our part of the intro? Gotcha. Is this the half blood? Oh. Shh. <laughs> Yo. Someone left the lights on. <laughs> what? Okay, that intro was cool. I liked it. Um, I definitely feel like it could use a little bit more of like a cinematic feel. But I mean, I like how they went with like the gameplay aspect. So we're just going to start a new game because we haven't played this game yet. So I'm guessing we're playing as the Half-Blood or we're playing as wake the up. guy that's hunting the Half-Blood. wake up. Oh, the crow. So, huh? This doesn't... Oh, interesting. This doesn't feel right. Too early. Yes, too early. What year is this? Why did you wake me so soon? My apologies, sir. But we seem to have an issue that requires your attention. What issue? Some of the blood coursing through your black veins has become... Uh, hmm. How do I say? I like the voice acting. The voice acting is really well done. Uh, void? Void? What's going on? The Wait, what? I feel weak. Hunter has destroyed two of your original blood donors. You've got to be kidding me. I only drink yes. royalty. I'm afraid the Emperor and Empress are gone, and with them an entire sect, a thousand-year-old bloodline, and a percentage of your strength. This is not good. That's putting it mildly, sir. As you know, <laughs> being a ghoul, you are what you drink. You might want to replenish soon. 
Yes, I am a bit thirsty, but more interested in finding this hunter. Oh, no. Oh, wait, look how... Look at me, dude. My looming shadow. Ooh! Is this my rat friend? Can I kill it? <laughs> Interesting. Well, the WASD is very responsive. WASD to move, E to pick up items, quest objective, find a way out of the dungeon. Uh, press to I key to open inventory, R to recharge essence pool, essence crystals required. Uh, use mouse scroll wheel to select skills. Ooh. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. I need to press E to interact. Sight. Hold right button to see secrets and enemies. Ooh. Heal. Hold right button to heal. Okay, that's fine. Bloodlust. Press right or left button to s strike using essence. I like how every time it, te it tells you exactly what you do with it. Summon, press right button to summon, fire eye. There's, okay, there's a lot. <sighs> Having trouble? My brain is a bit foggy, perhaps due to lack of royal blood, but I don't remember these bars being here before. You've been asleep long time, sir. It's 2020. <laughs> it's 2020. Ooh, hoo, hoo. lots of bad things happened in 2020. Uh, dark tombs are no longer the most suitable and secure hideouts. They once were. 2020, really? Yes, and with the rumor of shadow hunters lurking about it, I thought it best to have your security upgraded a bit. Good idea, I suppose, but how do I get out? How does how does a crow do that? That's amazing. Your brain is a bit foggy, isn't it? Use your sight. Find, uh, okay, to see hidden triggers. So we want to see sight. Um, so Q for gate switch. Oh, so I gotta hold it down. Gotcha. Very interesting. Whoa. So to dodge is like quick double. That scared the crap out of me. Do I remember how to warp? Yes, I remember how to warp. Because I was messing around with it. So I only want to warp to a location that uh, is like pretty much green. That's pretty sick. This is actually really cool. So now I'm gonna, uh, sir, you didn't forget how to. No, of course not. I just noticed these bars are made of silver. Oh, that? Yes, I'm afraid I wasn't completely honest with you earlier. It's not entirely the shadow hunters we need to worry about. Silver bars means you're trying to keep out the kindred. Why? The council has placed a bounty on your head. Why does the council want me? A bit of housekeeping, I suppose. With the recent events concerning the Shadow Hunter, they sent their goons into the castle to deal with you before the hunters have a chance to chalk up another victory. The council's hunters are in my castle right now? I'm afraid it's a bit worse than that. It's, in fact, it's a bit of a hornet's nest up there, sir. Some of the dead were summoned to do the council's dirty work. You're going to have to have your work cut out for you, but I have faith in you, sir. Great. Oh, oh, okay. So it's all the way down there. I think I saw it. Yeah, literally right here. Gate switch. I like this warping mechanic. I think the warping mechanic is really cool. Not something I've seen before. I wonder how much of a range it has. That's the thing. It seems to have an insane range. Uh, that's what I'm noticing. Jesus Christ. Oh, was I was I supposed to destroy stuff? <laughs> All right, well, I got a C rating for that. C plus rating, my average in math class. Should I be destroying phases and stuff? I guess to find items, that's probably why I probably should be getting it. Oh, what did I- what did I just drink? What are these noises? The noises are pretty loud. Ooh, spider! Oh, okay. I didn't get hurt that much. 
Nice. Spikes board taken. Press I. Oh, yeah. This is my inventory. So spikes board is magic weapon. 2% more minion damage. So I guess do I equip that? I guess I could. Or bloodstone. So that's something I need. Uh, allows ability to heal by converting essence into health. and But drains bloodstone with each use. Okay. So that's required to use the heal. So fang sword. That's 44. So we want to at least... So do I get two of them if it's just one? Ooh, sweet. So I get two of them even though it's just one. Interesting. Um, looks like a random spider web or something. Tomb glitch number five taken. I don't know what the tomb glitch... Tomb glitch... Glit. I can't talk. <laughs> tomb glyph. Glyph. Glyph, glyph, glyph. Not glinch, not glitch. Glyph, Kristen. Jesus. How dare you. Oh, there's the jumping. Jumping's pretty cool. Ew, what are you? Blood spawn. Thankfully, these guys do not hurt, like, as bad. So I'm getting tomb glyphs. Pretty nice. Oh, I do not like these blood spawns, dude. How do I fire eye? <laughs> That's pretty sick. I mean, am I am I shooting lasers like like Cyclops from X Men, or what am I doing here? That's pretty cool. I wonder if I have to do anything with this. No, it's just a gargoyle. Sweet. Okay, so I did have to destroy that. I'm gonna go back. It's really responsive. That's what I like about it. Is how responsive the WASD is. Oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. That actually scared me. I'm not sure what those are used for. I think... Zombie. Oh no. Is he dead? I would assume so. I was not expecting it to have slight jump scares, but this is a castle. So I would assume it, it should have that. I should know that. Nice. Oh, crap. I didn't mean to do that. The double, double jump. That! Oh, key required. I didn't see that. I think... I didn't see that the key was required in that instance. I feel like key required should probably pop up in, like, my center field of vision. Because I didn't even notice it in, like, the top right-hand corner. It was small. I mean, the lock should have given it away, but at the same time, I just didn't know. So that's key required. Now I know where to look, so that becomes useful. Oh, man. I totally, like, hit that other area earlier. Did you know not everything is revealed using your sight? See those hanging barrels? They probably don't look that interesting, but they can be shot down using my fire eye skill. Probably too much to mention now, but here's a few things. Nine of 30 vases smashed. Four to ten barrels open. Zero of three essence bottles found. I won't bother you. Oh, I see. Good to know. So I, you really have to uh, be using all of your abilities Like, you really have to be using all of your abilities and check almost every area. So your sight is pretty important. So it shows you exactly what's there. Because it shows you exactly in, in other areas, like those little dots uh, with enemies that are nearby. Um, so shift is to run. You actually already run pretty well. The shading in this game is nice. <laughs> Gosh. Oh, well, it seems there's something behind there. Yes, yeah, some vases. So I have to look for a key. Um, hmm. Oh, a couple keys, in fact. But there was something earlier that I missed. Freaking blood spawns, dude. They're cool looking, but they're definitely tough. 
Not Ooh, we got a key and we got two keys. So we got two keys in our inventory right now. So I guess like that was what we had to do was just defeat enemies in order to gain keys. Oh, snap. Raven eye taken. I feel like, okay, so to interact with it, I feel like it would just be better to, um, when you're close to it, to just honestly, like, have it gather for you at, when you're close to it. Not, not that you have to interact. I think it kind of does that, but not fully. You know what I mean? Yeah, see, like, it kind of does that when I'm, like, over it, but for the most part, I gotta interact with it. Oh, another chest. Perfect. Studded boots. Nice. Our fashion sense is upgrading. So we're definitely, we're getting a bit more defense here. And I like how it doesn't affect my look. Because my look is pretty sweet. There was something, I didn't even fully check out this area. So my sight tells me that we have, um... Oh, I thought that was like a building that we needed to look into. Or not a building, like a like a secret wall of some sort. It gets me every time. I will I hope to get I'm gonna make sure it doesn't get me next time. There was something I missed over here. Um Ooh, we got an amulet. That's pretty nice. Not sure what it does. Uh, magic, 1% chance of crit. Nice. Sweet. I don't know what these glyphs do just yet. All right, so we need a key. So I don't know if we only get that from enemies or if we can also get that from just opening up these boxes too. But I think these guys might give me the keys. Oh, they didn't leave a key. There was something earlier that I knocked down. Man, this guy seriously has to clean his castle. It is dude. Oh god, that scared the crap out of me. God, this game has its jump scares. I like that. I like that a lot. The the mouse is pretty responsive. That's good, at least. Ooh. See, like, that's that's where I want the, the key to, like, key required to show up. Just exactly, like, where that level up was. Like, it doesn't have to be that big, but... Oh. Oh, B+. Plus. We got it. That's a decent rating. Q. You might still be a bit foggy, so let me fill you in a few things. This is a tomb room. You can actually find bloodstones buried with fallen ancient vampires here. Ooh, I like how it kind of gives you, like, a mini walkthrough about it. Bloodstones? Yeah, that sounds like something I should know about. Bloodstones allow you to convert essence into healing. Select heal by pressing 5 key or scroll through my skills. I like using the, the mouse scroll, personally. Uh... Yeah, I just I just prefer that. I think I knew that already, so that was good. Well, that not that easy since the ancients made sure their graves were locked behind cryptic puzzles to discourage thieves. So have fun with that. Damn. I'm usually pretty good at sensing the dead, so let me press Q key if you want me to sniff out the grave or the exit. Oh, one more thing. So I can use my crow friend to help me out here. Some of the corridors might be blocked by pillars or walls. If necessary, just smash them with your weapon. <laughs> I like the I like the wording. That's pretty funny. So now we got our crow companion. All right, so we Oh, zombie. Excuse me, zombie. You're not welcome here. I am glad that I'm not able to hurt my companion. I don't want to be able to hurt him. What do we do here? Drop drain bloodstones to refill. So this game kind of gives you Oh, I can destroy the pillar. So this game kind of gives you, like, an essence that you kind of have to move around yourself a little bit. Um, and, like, try to figure things out. 
Which isn't bad, but I guess for a tutorial, this isn't too terrible. I don't know if I should be destroying all these pillars. I don't know what exactly what it gives me here. Don't these pillars hold some sort of structural point advantage? And I'm just going ahead and destroying all of them. Man, that would not... That's not good for me. Oh, let's, um... Let's fire eye this. Yeah, baby. Oh, I might have forgotten to mention this place belongs to the Wraith. He eats the dead for breakfast, so don't think about messing with him. And if you're not good at hiding or running, then just find an exit to forget this place. A Wraith? Oh. No, you don't. How do you not know that he's here? This is your castle. It's very important to use your sight. And we definitely want to stay away from that raid. Ooh, we got a key. Not sure where that key leads me. Why can't I beat him? The aiming is pretty good. Oh, yeah, we don't want to get close to that wraith over there. Not at all. That wraith just seems like bad news. It seems like he'll definitely kick my butt. I mean, I'm definitely one to go and face a challenge, but he just looks like he'll kick my butt. I see you. Seems like a jump scare waiting to happen. Oh, I already forget what my objective is. Um... Crow is following. Crow's left to find a grave. Oh, yeah, I have to... He's finding a grave. So I have to follow him. Ew. Blood wash. So I have to follow him pretty much if I want to find what I want to find. Two stones have poisonous spider nests under them. Touch 34 of the stones without touching the spider nest. I don't get it. Oh. Uh, well. A stone with a spider symbol means nest. Oh, shit. So that's what happened. What is happening? I mean, look at all those keys I got, but still. Oh, I have to hold on to it. Well, that was not good. I don't know if I ac accurately understand that puzzle, to be quite honest. Good thing I can destroy stuff. So I'm able to get to where I need to go. Oh, whoa! These ghouls aren't really that much. So why is it the ghouls turn into that, that guy? I don't want to exit the dungeon. We got to go to my bird friend over here. Because we're trying to find something. Oh. Recreate the arrangement of glyphs shown here. Select glyphs at the bottom of the bank, then click anywhere in the maid board to place them and recreate arranged arrangements shown. Oh, so these glyphs have something to do with these puzzles. Okay, I got you. So we have to do... We first have to find... I don't even have that first glyph. Well, I mean, it's right here. I don't have that glyph. What? Oh, no. I did not mean to do that. Oh, wait. I see. Okay. Interesting. Oh, we can't. 
Uh, we can't find him just yet. Fight him. He's got to get out of his place. I want to summon something. What did I just summon? I have no idea what I just summoned. Oh, you're cool looking, dude. I wonder how long this summoned thing is here with me. Find another grave, friend. We shall follow. Huh, looks like we're getting close to something here. Oh, that was something. That's a wraith. Can I not fight it? Wait, I don't know. Can I not fight it? Did I just kill the wraith? Oh, snap! I just killed the... Oh. Oh, no. Looks like I cannot fight it. So that's not good. Alright, so I can't fight it. Yo, he is kicking my butt. Oh, I'm dead. Huh. Wait, where's my guy? Oh, he's all the way over there, right by the wraith. Not fun. Maybe we can go around and see if we can meet up with my crow friend. I don't want to find that wraith again. I think the wraith is close by. Oh. Yeah, there he is. Oh, here's another area, though. Perfect. Um, where is it? Here it is. Okay, so now we have another glyph thing here. Oh, what? I guess it was already made. With how it had to be. Very interesting. Should we find another one? I think that's it. So I think we just need to exit or something. Oh, that scared me. But I think that's all we need to do. Well, he literally just popped all the way over there. Cave passage. I don't know how long this game is. Um, beware of garlic pots. Oh, the garlic pots. Yeah, that's not that's not good for me. All right, let's... So we want to explode them from afar. Yeah, garlic pots equals not good for me, I would imagine. No, but this this game so far, I actually like it. I think the gameplay is pretty solid. Uh, the movement's pretty nice. Uh, I definitely think some of the stuff should be, like, more in the my front-facing view, much like these, like, key found. Or there should be something in the HUD explaining, like, in each area what I have left to unlock. Uh, unless the developer is going for more of like an explorative kind of thing do on your own and that's actually a, a good approach as well so i mean of course uh as the player i like whatever the creator has i'll play the water looks really good too i like the the whole look of this character i think he's pretty badass looking i would have to say and the itemization system is pretty cool too um and I like to, I like all the different types of things that we have. But, you know, we're going to wrap that here for today, you guys. Uh, I highly appreciate it. This game, I definitely think, is on its way to becoming such a fantastic game. And I'm actually blown away that it's only been done by one person. Uh, so I cannot wait to play the full game for when it comes out. But that is all the time I have for you guys today. Please do not forget to like and or subscribe, not only to my YouTube, but to my Twitch. You guys know where my YouTube is at. But you can find my uh, Twitch at twitch.tv slash thegamedame. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.